Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. Today is Tuesday, November 4, 2014. My name is Matt Bernat, filling in for Frank Fortunato, who is in London this week. You can also follow more news updates on our Twitter account, at CADEX TV. Also, today is Election Day in the United States. Typhoon watchers in the Western Pacific watched in awe this weekend as Super Typhoon Nori exploded into what could be the strongest storm on planet Earth this year. As Nori slams into the North Pacific later this week, it could trigger a downstream domino effect, November Arctic outbreak, in the central and eastern United States this weekend. Nori is packing sustained 180 mile an hour winds. The storm has wrapped into an impressively intense tropical cyclone with sharply defined concentric eyewall that is about 15 miles across. Nori is expected to brush by Japan with a close call as the storm curves northeast heading for the western Aleutian Islands. As Nori tracks north towards the Bering Sea, it may set off a sequence of atmospheric events that could drive a shot of significantly below average November cold into Minnesota and the eastern United States. The latest global forecast system suggests a buckling jet stream and a deepening low pressure uh, trough over Minnesota and the eastern United States in a, the next 6 to 10 days. This is the beginning stages of an Arctic outbreak. Nori is the fifth Category 5 storm of 2014. Hurricane Vance has begun to weaken over the eastern Pacific Ocean, but still remains a hurricane as of Tuesday morning. It became a hurricane Sunday evening with winds of 105 miles an hour. Its top winds ticked up to 110 on Monday afternoon and remain there through Monday evening. The government of Mexico issued a tropical storm watch for portions of its Pacific coastline on Monday night as Hurricane Vance continues to gradually draw nearer, bringing the potential for high surf and heavy rainfall for parts of Mexico over the next few days. United States President Barack Obama on Monday declared a slow-moving lava flow from the Puo vent of the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii to be a major disaster, the White House said. This declaration frees up federal money in order to help protect local communities from the lava flow. The lava flow has been moving towards homes on the Big Island of Hawaii since June 27th and is now threatening Poa Village. The leading edge of the flow has paused about 170 meters from Poa Village Road, the main thoroughfare of the town of about 800 residents, at the site of an old sugar plantation. No homes have been destroyed and no injuries have yet been reported. The flow remained active as of Monday, but has not advanced since Thursday of last week. The Insurance Council of New Zealand has said that insurers have settled Canterbury earthquake claims worth over 13 billion New Zealand dollars. Commercial claims settlement reached more than 8 billion New Zealand dollars through September 2014, while residential claims totaled 5 billion New Zealand dollars. Insurers have settled 72% of all residential overcap claims so far, the council said, adding that they are confident in settling almost all of the claims before the end of 2016. An earthquake measuring 4.5 on the Richter scale was registered in southern Romania on Monday afternoon, but no casualties or damage were reported. According to data from the European Mediterranean Seismology Center, the tremor occurred at 3.09 in the afternoon in the region of Rancia Mountain. The epicenter is about 130 kilometers north of the Romanian capital Bucharest at a depth of 120 kilometers. The United States Geological Survey recorded another earthquake on Monday. A magnitude 2.8 quake was recorded at 8.20 a.m. local time, three miles west of Pawnee. Two earthquakes were also recorded on Sunday, 2.6 magnitude near Cherokee and 2.4 magnitude near Luther. During the past seven days, Oklahoma recorded 18 quakes, according to the USGS, and in the past 30 days, Oklahoma has recorded 124 quakes of at least 2.5 magnitude. Locked in and wholesale broker Burns and Wilcox have joined the Ebola sensitive insurance protection movement with a product that protects companies from income losses and increased costs incurred without actual physical damages. The companies have launched the paid protection or have launched paid the protection against income disruption insurance program to address coverage gaps under a standard property policy, says Jared Militier, senior vice president and gaming, entertainment, and sports practice leader for Locked In. While a traditional business interruption policy may cover name perils such as disease outbreaks, mass shootings, or civil commotions, it requires a physical loss, property damage due to fire or windstorm, say, to trigger a claim. Paid provides an all-risk policy form for numerous causes of loss, such as an Ebola outbreak, 
political unrest leading to riots, mass shootings, foodborne illness, natural catastrophes, and other factors, and doesn't require any physical loss or damage. Militier called paid a game changer for the industry. It's the advent of a new product development line like DNO or cyber liability, he says, that will become a potentially new standard of insurance coverage that will be purchased along with a standalone property program. The policy is triggered by any cause of loss beyond the control of the insured. Trigger mechanisms include but are not limited to the occurrence of any crime, such as mass shootings, murder or suicide, loss of satellite signals, civil commotions, or the outbreaks of disease. Aon Benfield has started to rebuild its Greek platform with the acquisition of safe brokers more than two years after a number of senior staff defected to Guy Carpenter. The 11-strong team from Safe Brokers, an independent reinsurance intermediary in the region, will join Aon Benfield at the beginning of November, bringing around 15 million euros of Greek and Cyprus facultative and treaty premium with them. In September 2012, the Insurance Insider revealed that a number of senior staff had left Aon Benfield's Greek operations, including CEO Gerald Turner and his deputy and son Alex Turner and three of the firm's other top producing brokers. Following their departure, Rival Guy Carpenter swept up a number of the remaining staff from Ahon Benfield's Hellenic division. The Turner family is a dominant force in Greek reinsurance broking, and its Turner reinsurance business was sold to Aon in 1999 to form Aon Turner Reinsurance Services. Today is election day in the United States. It is the midterm elections. 36 Senate seats, the whole House of Representatives, and 36 governors are up for election today. We'll keep an eye on it to figure out who has control of the U.S. Senate tomorrow as it looks as if the Republicans are poised to take back control of the United States Senate. That is the news for today. Thank you for watching. If we have any important breaking news, we will come back on and tell you. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at CatXTV for all news updates and more. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice day, and we will see you tomorrow.